Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do a standing gentle yoga class today. So if you are not comfortable standing, you can use a chair. There's only one little thing with the circle hips that we do that um, being in a chair might be a little challenging, but besides that, you can sit in a chair for this one as well. So standing uh, or sitting in a chair. Let's do this. All right, my friends, let's come to the feet and do some standing gentle yoga. I hope everybody's doing great today, by the way. Okay, so look at your feet, make sure they're hip width, and you can do this sitting in a chair as well. <sighs> well, maybe not this part, but if you need to use a chair, you can always have one in front of you and do this part with a chair, okay? Bring your hands to your hips. Actually, let's step our feet a little bit wider than the hips. I just can't make up my mind today, huh? Let's circle the hips around in one direction. This is one of my favorite dance moves that I like to do in all the local clubs. <sighs> Good, let's circle the opposite way. Very popular, the whole crowd copies me when I do this. Very popular dance move. Circling around and breathing. Just notice how your lower back feels today. And let's hold it still. Step those feet so that they're about hip width distance apart. Ah, <sighs> good. Shoulders up to the ears, breathe in. Exhale, just drop them down. <sighs> good, let's do that again. Inhale up. And exhale, <sighs> drop them down, good. Drop your head down to the left side, breathing in, soften your jaw. Another deep breath. Good, bring your left hand under the head on that side and push it up to center. And then drop your head down to the right side and hold it there. We're feeling this left arm just dangle down away from the shoulder. And we're breathing, softening the jaw. Long breath in, long breath out. Good, hold it, feel. And then bring your right hand under the head and slowly push the head up to center. Good. Shake everything out a little bit, the legs and the arms. Give everything a little wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good. Drop your head forward and down. Make sure your knees are a little bit bent, a little soft knee position. Head is forward and down. <sighs> Breathing in and out, in and out. Your hands can go where they feel comfortable. I put mine behind my back here. And as your head is hanging heavily down, just notice what that feels like on the back of your neck. Which side is tighter? My left side is tighter than my right. And just hold it, breathe. Good, let's bring the fingertips to the forehead and use the hands, not the neck, to push the head up to center. Ah, oh, very easy positioning. And then lower your arms down. Take your chin now, okay, and tuck it. So you're pushing your head back into an imaginary wall. Your hand doesn't need to be doing this on your chin. I'm just showing you what to do with your chin. So we're doing a slight tuck back of head towards the wall. Breathe in. Good, relax your head to neutral. Pull those shoulders up and back. Do the same thing again. Tuck your chin and push the back of your head towards an imaginary wall. Good, relax again. Let's do that one more time. Take a deep breath in and then tuck that chin again. Push the back of the head into that imaginary wall. Good. Are you here? Are you present? Are you doing okay? Relax your head and then shake everything out. Oh, good. Take your left arm up towards the sky. Good. Bring your right hand to your hip. Go back to the feet, make sure they're pressing down evenly into the floor. And now you're gonna shift and push your left hip to the left. 
Good, so you're doing a little side bend here. I like to work with the hips in this posture and just allow the body to tilt as an after thought almost. So we tilt the body as a response to the hips moving to the left. Squeeze the buttocks and lengthen that left side as long as you can. Breathe deeply into the left side, ribs are expanding. <sighs> Relax your face. Good, little squeezing of the waist on the right side. And then lift back up to center and lower that left hand to your left hip. Right arm floats up towards the sky. The palm faces in. We get longer with the body out of the hips. We have a little softness in our knees. We squeeze the buttocks and we push the right hip over to the right for a side bend. And we reach this right side really long and breathe into it. Very important, right? We use that breath to expand the lungs, to stretch the ribs, those muscles that connect the ribs. Keep squeezing the buttocks as you hinge this body. Good, relax your face. Good, hips to center and the right arm comes down. Ah, good. So the hands are right here, they're on the hips, and we're gonna bring them so that they reach back to the back of the body. So the thumbs are on the inside, and we're lengthening up through the top of the head. Feet are pressing evenly down to the feet, and I'm gonna push my hips forward here, squeeze the buttocks, and lift the heart up towards the sky. Nice back bend. Breathing in. Bring your hips back to center. Deep breath, knees are soft. Heart is lifted, chest lifted, breathe in. Exhale again, hips forward with the hands supporting your back. Knees soft, toes relaxed, lift the chest up to where the ceiling and the wall meet in front of you, squeezing the buttocks. Good, bring your hips back to center, lower the arms down alongside, shake everything out. This is our theme today, shake it all out. Let's step the feet a little bit wider than the hips now. And we're gonna swing these arms around the body and let them swing freely so we can really allow the muscles to let go of their grip from the bone. We're just allowing these arms to swing around and give ourselves a good slap. On the opposite shoulder. And the opposite heel lifts as you twist. Ah, relaxing your face. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. You can sing about it. This is how I feel. La 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 la. And let's slow it down, slow it down. Step the feet back in. Ah, good. So however you'd like to support this body, once again, your hands can come behind you. I'm just like hanging out with one hand holding the other wrist behind my body. And we're gonna to shift to the left foot and just turn the right foot over. You're gonna press that ankle forward. Let the knee soften on the left knee. Body grows tall, shoulders up and back. The heart is open. The chest is lifting towards the sky. We're lifting the body weight out of this left hip. Okay, we don't wanna sink into it. We're lifting out of it and breathing. If your hands on the hips feels better here, that's an option. So we're gonna circle this right foot and allow that ankle to loosen up. Notice your face if you are smiling or not. Without judgment, we don't wanna judge ourselves harshly. Let's circle the opposite way. Ah, 
We're just noticing, right? We're noticing, hmm, am I smiling? Hmm, that's interesting. Let's hold it still. And we're gonna lift this right foot out in front of us. And we're just gonna kind of circle it around out in front of us. If you need a wall to hold on to, that's an option here. Hands to the hips is a good option again. Circle it around the opposite way. Good, step that right foot down to the floor. Feel your body weight on your feet, okay? Rock forward and back. My feet are really like onto this mat because it's a little warm in this room today. So it's like they're sticking right down to the mat. It's very sexy. Forward and back. I feel like an octopus with tentacles that gets stuck. Forward and back as you rock, heels lift, front of foot lifts. Heels lift, front of foot lifts. And you can have some fun with this. Wee! Your arms can kind of get involved in this. Good, let's settle onto the center of each foot, right? So you wanna think about pancake batter when you pour it into a pan. Let the sole of the foot be like that spreading out wide on your pancake pan, your sauce pan, I guess it would be called, your frying pan, whatever. Shift to your right foot and turn the left foot over and press that ankle forward. Open up your heart, your chest, shoulders back and down. We lengthen through the crown and we think of that first, the beginning of our class today where we push the head back to keep the head on top of the shoulders. Good, your hands, if they're happy here, or on the hips, or behind the body. And then breathe, and smile, if you want to. I don't wanna force you into anything. Circle your left ankle in one direction. Take your time. Maisie's eating a rope. I think she's on a diet. She's watching her figure. Circle the opposite way. It's the rope diet. Right, boop boop. Good, let's hold it still. Now lift that leg out in front and do the same thing. Let's circle it out in front of us. You can have the hands on the hips, whatever feels good. Let the jaw relax and then circle the opposite way. Take your time, breathe in and out. Whoa. Feel your balance. It's fun to play with balancing, right? We have to change our thinking with balancing. Balancing tends to be a fearful thing for a lot of people. So let's change our thinking. Lower that left foot down to the floor. Find, again, your balance on two feet now, right? We're balancing. We're gonna shift our weight over to the left foot and just allow this right knee to float up in front. So we're working on the top of the quad here, we have our psoas working up here. We're gonna lift this right knee up and then we're gonna gently place it down. We're gonna to shift to this right foot and we're gonna lift the left knee up. So the hands on the hips is an option. And lift the left knee up and then lower that down. Switch again and lift again. Right knee, lower it down, switch. Left knee, lower it down. Switch, right knee, lower it down, good. Switch, left knee, good. Lower it down. When we switch this time, let's see if we can hold the right knee up. And then open the arms out to a loose T position. Elbows are bent and the wrists are relaxed. I like to think of my arms around my buddies in a picture here. Come here, buddies. Right, you got your best buddies, one on each side of you. Shoulders up and back, open your chest, lift up and take a deep breath in. The left knee has a little tiny bend in it. Let's lower the right leg, lower the arms. <sighs> Shake everything out. <sighs> Good. The most important thing we wanna shake out is our own judgment against ourselves, our self-judgment. So shake it off. And then we're gonna shift to the right foot, inhale and take that left knee up in front of us. Now, if you have a block or something or some books, you can always put your left foot up on that or your little dog. 
Float your arms out to a T. Don't hurt the dog though, okay? Elbows relaxed, wrists relax. Right foot is pushing the floor away. We have a little bend in that right knee and we're lifting up through the top of the head, pulling the shoulders up and back, opening up the heart, softening the jaw. Come here, Maisie. Good girl. Maisie, 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 good girl. Very nosy puppy. Good. Lower this left foot down. Hi. And the arms. And let's shake it out again. Hello, Papa. Hi. Hi. Good. Step your feet wide. And if you need to be seated, you can do this on the floor. Wide legs. Bring your hands to your hips. And tilt your tailbone back behind you. So your pelvis is gonna tilt right back behind you. As you do this, your back is flat. You're gonna come forward and bring your hands down to your blocks, floor, or maybe a table or a chair in front of you. And then just lower all the way down. Keep your back flat, take a deep breath. You're gonna rock forward and back on those feet again. And just lifting the heel. Lifting the front of the foot. Taking a moment here, noticing how you feel as you move. Good. Hold still. Let the knees have a little bend in them. And we're gonna lengthen through the crown, breathe in, and bow the body forward and down gently. Let your head either hang, or you can use a block or two to Hold your head or maybe your chair in front of you. Try to get to the center of each foot as you're bowing. Keep the back flat, long. Long breaths in. Let's walk to the left leg and bow to that leg. I have a lot of hair, my friends. I apologize, it's getting in the way of things here. But hopefully you're bowing and you can't see it. So we're bowing to the left leg and breathing. Ah, soften your face. Notice what you feel. The feet are pointed straight still. We're not opening them out at all. Hello, I know you like to attack me when I'm bending over my bubba. And then walk back to center and over to the opposite leg. And you're gonna to rotate to face it and, and surrender to it, to that right leg. And just feel the difference on this side. Are you more open on the right leg? What do you feel? <sighs> Soften your jaw. Walk back to center, take your time. Nice flat back. Breathe in and surrender forward and down. Try not to round your back in this position. Reach your tailbone up behind you and allow your head to hang. Let go of everything that you can here. Good, inhale to a flat back. And then planting your left hand down to the floor in the center, right? So if you have hands shoulder width here, your left hand's gonna come into the center of that. And then you're gonna reach your right arm up towards the sky for a twist. I love to stretch my neck in that one, it feels so good. Push down with your feet. Lift your body weight out of your left wrist and rotate from your belly, your ribs, your chest. Soften your jaw. Good, take that right hand down, find the center, the back is long and the left arm reaches up towards the sky. The body weight is lifting out of that right hand and the jaw is relaxed. Notice, breathe, feel. 
lower the left hand. And breathe as you bow one more time, but this time let's walk the hands forward about a foot, a handprint or two. And when you bow, the hands are glued out in front of you and you're reaching the hips back. So we're dropping the head here, getting a nice hammock stretch, hammock pose. As you extend through the fingertips, feel and breathe in the back of the body, soften your jaw. Head is heavy, you can shake it no and yes. And then inhale to a flat back, walk those hands in, bend the knees and walk your hands slowly up your legs. Good. Heel toe those feet in or step the legs in. Good. Take the arms out to a T position. Good. Give yourself a hug with the right arm coming under. We're just gonna finish off our session today with some beautiful self hugs. Why? Because you deserve it. So you're gonna circle these elbows around in one direction. So the nice thing about this whole class today is that you can do this in a chair, seated. Good, let's circle the opposite way. You could do it half in a chair and half on your feet. We want you to be comfortable. That's the most important thing. Finding this circling movement with the arms. Let's hold still and then walk the hands across the back. See if you can find your shoulder blades. So the hands are not up over the top of the shoulders. They're around the sides of the shoulders. And we're gonna lift the elbows up towards the sky. We're gonna breathe here. We're gonna lower the elbows down and then we're gonna round the upper back and tuck the chin, bend the knees deeply. Nice deep bend. Good, lift into a straight legged position, body rises up and we take those elbows, we lift them up towards the sky, breathe in, exhale lower, Bending deeply in those knees, rounding the upper back and tucking the chin. Good, again, lengthening up, reaching those elbows towards the sky. We're doing this slowly, honoring our body's limits, lowering. One more time, let's bend those knees, round the back and tuck the chin. Good, straight spine, stand tall, float the arms open, Inhale for a stretch, left arm comes under, give yourself a hug, <sighs> good. Start with that circling, circling in one direction, jaw relaxing, breathing in and out. Circle the opposite way. <sighs> good, hold still. Walk the hands across the back again. Can you find your shoulder blades? Inhale the elbows up towards the sky for a nice stretch here. Exhale, lower your elbows and drop your head down and bend your knees. A deep bend as you tuck your chin, round your back. Lift up, elbows towards the sky. Take a breath. Lower, rounding, tucking your chin. Good, another one, lifting up. Elbows towards the sky. And exhale, lower, rounding that upper back and tucking the chin. Good, lengthen up to a tall spine. Float your arms out to a T position. Breathe in, open up your heart. Welcome in the world and any other lessons that we're gonna be learning today, welcome them in. It's all good. Bring your hands into prayer. Thank you so much for joining me today. You are amazing, you are the best, and I'll see you for the next one. Namaste.